so this mare we're getting prepped for frozen semen breeding. Um, she had a 35 millimeter follicle yesterday when I checked her on the farm in the morning and then I gave her a uh, Deslorelin injection around 5.30 last night. Um, so I'm timing her so that her expected ovulation time should be tomorrow midday. Um, about 42 hours after that injection, at most 48 hours. So be fought by 5 p.m. tomorrow, she absolutely should have ovulated off of that Deslorelin injection. I'm gonna breed her tonight, however, to cover her just in case she were to have, happen to ovulate overnight so that we do have semen in there and that within that 12 hour window um, before ovulation. And then tomorrow I will check her first thing in the morning and then follow her midday again and do a second breeding immediately post ovulation for her. So our frozen semen is going to be um, stored in a liquid nitrogen tank and we're going to take out the straws that we need for breeding and put those in a water bath to thaw and then um, transfer it into the syringe of pipette that we'll use to inseminate the mare. So this is a five mil straw, so the water bath is set at a slightly higher temperature than we would for the smaller straws. Um, and we're leaving it in for 45 seconds, and then we'll take it out and dry it off. wipe all of the sperm off the straw because water is sperm toxic and so we don't want any of that accidentally dripping in. Container. And in your records, you'll note um, the straw lot numbers will be on there. You'll make all the notes of that with the stallion name and, and everything else. So frozen semen, we are going to go uh, for a deep horn insemination. So we're going to deposit the semen as close as possible to the tip of the oviduct of the side of the follicle that we've been following. So for her, that's the left side. So I go in vaginally, pass the pipette through her cervix and kind of start it up. Um, if possible, to the left side, and then I go in rectally where I can feel, palpate her uterine horns, and feel where that pipette is in her uterus, and guide it up to the, all the way up to the tip of the horn.
feel it. You definitely feel it once it slides through. We were caught up on a fold there, and you could feel. You could probably see it um, advance, but I definitely felt it. So once it's um, comfortably seated in the uterine horn, then I kind of, I'm kind of holding the uterine horn and the pipette in place with my hand that's in transrectally, and then um, I'll go ahead and attach our semen. Pet. And there we go.